Hi, Stu Schwartz from MasterMathMentor.com. This is video AB39. The topic is slope fields and it covers the AB manual page 227. Back in video 25, we studied simple differential equations. They were statements in the form of dy dx is equal to some expression. And our goal was to solve it. That is, to write it in the form of y is equal to some expression. Since we were integrating, our solutions always had a plus c tacked on. For instance, consider the differential equation dy dx is equal to 2x. To solve this differential equation, we first cross multiply and get dy is equal to 2x dx. We then integrate both sides and get the integral of dy is equal to the integral of 2x dx, and we get y is equal to x squared plus c. This represents an infinite number of solutions based on the value of the constant c. No matter what the value of c, when we take the derivative, we get dy dx is equal to 2x. We can view the equation dy dx equals 2x with a slope field that is sometimes called a direction field. The slope field shows the slope of the solution to the differential equation at any point. See how your eye tells you that the solution to the DEQ is a quadratic. No matter which of the infinite number of points on the plane you choose that the solution to the differential equation passes through, there is a corresponding value of c, and the slope field will still be accurate. For instance, suppose that the solution to the differential equation passes through the point negative 1, negative 1. We can see that there will be a solution to the differential equation. To find it, we start at the point negative 1, negative 1, and follow the slope field in both directions from the point, similar to a swimmer being pushed by a strong current. And note we get the parabola shown in red. Creating slope fields is very time consuming, and we generally just examine a slope field based on integer values around the origin. We will start with one of the easier differential equations we will encounter, dy dx is equal to y. We would like to create a slope field for this for the points around the origin, that is, the integer value points where x runs from negative 2 to 2 and y runs from negative 2 to 2. And after that, we would like to look at the specific solution going through the point 1, 1. We will look at the slopes for all 25 points. The x values run from negative 2 to 2 and are horizontal. The y values run from negative 2 to 2 and are vertical. Since dy dx is equal to y, then the slopes do not depend upon x. So when y is 2, dy dx is 2. When y is 1, dy dx is 1, etc. Note that the slopes are the same for each value of y. When y is equal to 2, the slopes are 2, so they are positive and steep. When y equals 1, the slopes are at a 45 degree angle. When y is 0 for all points along the x-axis, the slopes are horizontal. And then the slopes go vertical and steeper. Looking at the specific solution going through the point 1, 1, we start at that point. And as we go to the right, the slopes get steeper, and therefore the curve gets steeper. As we go to the left, the curve gets shallower and gets closer to a horizontal line. We next look at the more complicated differential equation, dy dx is equal to x plus y. We would like to create a slope field, 
and then look at the specific solution going through the point 1, 1. With the slopes simply being the sum of x plus y, it is generally very easy to create the 25 points. Note the pattern that when x is equal to negative y, then the slope is always equal to 0. When the y value is greater than x, the slope is positive. When the y value is less than x, the slope is negative. Here is the slope field around the origin. Notice again that the slopes are positive above the line y is equal to negative x and negative below that line. The slopes are 0 along the line y is equal to negative x. And here is an approximation of the specific solution going through the point 1, 1. As we start from that point and go to the right, the curves are getting steeper and therefore the curve is getting steeper. As we go to the left, the curve is getting shallower and becomes zero and then becomes negative. It seems that the curve will become asymptotic to the line y is equal to x minus 1. In number 3, we have the more difficult differential equation, dy dx equals negative x over y. And we'd like to create a slope field for this and then come up with the approximate solution going through the point 0, 2. Since dy dx is equal to a fraction, we see that when x is equal to 0, meaning along the y-axis, dy dx is equal to 0, meaning the slope is horizontal. When y is equal to 0 along the x-axis, then dy dx is undefined. We will say it's infinite. At the point 0, 0, dy dx is equal to 0 over 0, and we will just say that that is undefined. Here is the slope field, and we can see along the y-axis that the slopes are horizontal. Along the x-axis, the slopes are vertical. And in the first quadrant, slopes are negative, and that is also true in the third quadrant. In the second and the fourth, dy dx is positive and the slopes go up to the right. Here is the specific solution going through the point 0, 2. At 0, 2, the slope is horizontal. As we move to the right, the slopes get steeper and negative, and at the point 2, 0, the slope is vertical. The same is true on the left side. The slopes get positive but steeper, and at the point negative 2, 0, the slope is vertical. So our shape is a semicircle. Note that we do not continue the specific solution down into the third and fourth quadrant as the result would not be a function. Our last step in this course is to algebraically solve differential equations in general or specifically passing through a point. Not by using slope fields to approximate their solution, but to algebraically find a solution. Solving differential equations is an entire course unto itself, and we will learn only to solve one type. But that will open up a world of real-life applications as differential equations are simply statements about change. That's coming up in video number 40.